Welcome folks, Mac T and I'm back with a oil date coat and shelf life video for y'all. Uh, did some research, went out shopping to about four or so or five different locations and I checked out some date codes on oils that were purchased and you will be entirely surprised but this video is really designed to help you understand what the shelf life of your oil is that you got sitting in that garage that's right and what conditions you can store it at to make it last the longest and then also what you can do with it as far as uh, date codes are you getting the freshest product you can well hey here's a way to shop and also buy the freshest oil you can because you will be surprised at what you can find on the shelf and uh, what's going on. So let's get into this and uh, cover this quickly so we can learn a little bit about oil codes. And that being said, we're going to start out. I did a lot of uh, searching at various places and I'll tell you where I went at the very end of this video. And uh, let's see what we got as far as the oils go. Now the shelf life uh, Castro said in their phone helpline, it stated that the shelf life of all their oil products is three years. So, you know, if you buy an oil, and I'll tell you about Castro and uh, a couple others that uh, make it hard to determine what the shelf life is. Mobile One, on their website, it states that the synthetic oils in the, have a shelf life of five years. So if you're going there shopping, hey, five years is your key that you want to have there. Pennzoil non-synthetic estimated at three years. That's right. Their conventional oils is three years, and there's no expiration date on their synthetics. Redline says there is no shelf life in any of their oils because they are, of course, a group four or five synthetic. So stands to reason it probably doesn't go bad. Sort of like a Twinkie, right? Anyway, <laughs> Shell. Stored indoors is five years, and then stored outdoors is subject to freezing is just two years. That's it. Two years total time. So if you're buying the shelf oil, hey, watch out how long you got it on the shelf. Over two years, it's no good anymore. Uh, Valvoline, their uh, website uh, states that the Valvoline company does not have a documented shelf life exposure for their finished motor oil or ATF products. Uh, any chemical that has been opened, including brake fluid, power steering fluid, has a recommended shelf life of no longer than two to three years, depending on the storage for their Valvoline. Walmart Supertech. This is the most interesting conversation that I had, and I got onto their helpline online and uh, asked them what their shelf life was. And this is the response, almost verbatim, that I got from the online person this is if you that I <laughs> need to check to see if the oil still liquid <laughs> and then you need to shake it before opening it also if you are unable to check in one of check you can go to one of their Walmart stores and they can verify that the oil is still fine to use and my response is yeah the Walmart has testing lab technicians on hand to tell you if it's any good uh, <laughs> funniest response of them all Anyway, oil date codes. How can we determine what oil date code? You can see here I got a 09231. And that is the 231st day of 2009, which comes out to be the 19th of August of 2009. And then we also have a different date code. It was 09K19. And that turns out to be 19 November 2009. Note the letters go through the alphabet for 12 months. Sometimes they change the letter I... To a different letter because the I or L or whatever you know it looks like a, you know, a number or something like that but generally A through uh, let's see L okay go through there uh, basically 12 letters and they all cover the number and then we got another one that's 11 E 9 which would be 11 May 2009 again the letter is utilized as the month Mobile One engine oil will have a 12D8. Again, the same style uh, would, would be that way. And then they have a 13F9, which would be 13 June 2009. And then they have a 10B25, 25 February 2010, so on and so forth. 02F9 to June 2009. 
Penn's oil basically runs uh, essentially the same way. We got a 05198, which would be 19 May for the 05, and then 98, or 2008 rather. So uh, 05198, that would be 19 May 2008. Yeah, getting myself messed up here. Then again, we got the 0711 uh, 2008, which is 11 July 2008, and 06. 168 which is 16 June 2008 and then the easy to read ones 93015 which be September 30th 2015 pretty easy number and then we got the 17198 which is 2017 19 August uh, of course you have the ones that print black ink date codes on black bottles or you end up with partial prints that you cannot read so pay attention to what's going on you might have to check multiple bottles to see if you can actually get a date code that you can read on those starting out with oil date codes AMS oil signature 520 I, I bought this here off the shelf I took this picture when I pulled it off the shelf folks and it had a date code of 30 September 2015, which means that this oil sitting on the shelf at the store, which is a Blaine's Farm and Fleet, was three years, two months old. On the shelf, folks. How often do they move this product at Blaine's Farm and Fleet? Apparently not very much, but I can tell you at 12 bucks a bottle, it probably doesn't sell too quick. Uh, we got another one, Amazon Basics, that I recently did engine oil testing on. I purchased in November, and they had a date code of 2018-622, and that was approximately five months old. Good on you, Amazon. Pretty fresh oil. Pennzoil 520 purchased October 2018 with a date code of 28 July 2016, which makes it two years and three months old, sitting on the shelf until the day I grabbed it. Castrol Edge 520 is purchased October 2018 with no date code that could be read. Yes, what did I say? Black coat ink on a black bottle. I couldn't find a code to save my life on this thing. So I guess you just give it your best guess. Pennzoil Platinum 520 purchased October 2018 with a date code of 4 April 2016, which makes this oil two years and five months old. Again, we can tell that these oils aren't selling very fast, are they? Valvoline 530, purchased October 2018 with a date code of uh, 16C1, which means it was 2016 March 1st, which makes this oil two years and seven months old. Yes, again, another fast mover on the shelf, right? Mobile One 520 was purchased October 2018 with a date code of 10118, which was 1 October 2018, which meant this oil was only one month old. Go Mobile One, right? Hey, apparently uh, people are buying this Mobile One and it's moving off the shelves. Royal Purple. Yes, this Royal Purple I found on the shelf, and I can't quite remember what place I was at when I did this. Uh, I ain't going to say which one it was because I don't remember, but I'm going to gonna say that it's not a, you know frequented very well, I guess. But anyway, it's a 520 purchase October 2018 with a date code of 12606, 6 May 2006. Yes, that makes that oil six years and six months old six years and six months old this royal purple has been on this store shelf for six and a half years and never been sold i don't know royal purple you might want to ask your uh, retailers to send the stuff back and refresh it anyway napa 520 Purchased October 2018 with a date code of G3018, which was 30th July 2018. And apparently Napa moves their stuff off the shelves pretty quick because it was only four months old. Mobile Super 520 purchased October 2018 with a date code of 11018, which was 20 April uh, 2018, only seven months old. So apparently Mobile Super is selling off the shelves pretty decent. Pennzoil Platinum. 520 purchased October 2018 with a date code of 12 February 18. That's right. It was nine months old sitting on the shelf. 
that Pennzoil Platinum just sort of hanging out. O'Reilly. Hey, who said O'Reilly isn't good, right? Well, anyway, they had a date code of 28 August uh, 2018. Three months old, so go O'Reilly. You're selling your oil at a pretty quick rate. Cut rate oils, right? Yep, cheap stuff, but it is good. I ran a test on it. You guys can check the results out on my Mac T garage and uh, see what the oil test results were for used oil. Super Tech 520 purchase October 2018 with a date code of August 22nd means this Super Tech was only three months old. Way to go, Walmart. You're kicking that stuff out the door as fast as you can make it, just about. Quaker State 520 purchase October 2018 with a date code of July 18th, 2018, and it was four months old. Again, apparently Quaker State's got a good mover on its hands, too. Let's see, STP 520 purchase October 2018. The date code on it was 22 September 18, two months old. Way to go, STP. You're moving it off the shelves pretty good. Either that or they just got a new shipment in, one of the two. Lucas was purchased uh, October 2018 with a date code of 1 September 2017. And that Lucas oil was one year, two months old. Ooh, not moving too quick. Mobile One Extended Performance 520, October 28th with the purchase date. And it had a code of 10117. And that was 11 April 2017. And apparently the Extended Performance uh, is hurting their sales because people are using it longer. I don't know, but anyway, it was on the shelf for one year and seven months. Super Guard Oil. Yeah, who uses this? Made by Sitgo. Uh, it was purchased October 2018 at a 04318, which is a 12 February 2018 uh, manufacturer date, and it was nine months old. So apparently they're selling some of this Super Guard. Redline was purchased March 2018 with a date code of 67305. Now, I would ignore the 6 in the string and make it a 7305, which would be 1 November 2017, and make it 5 mo months old at the time of purchase. Now, one thing I will note about Redline is they do not tell you what their date codes mean. Okay, this is entirely a guess on my part, but knowing when it was purchased helps, and then looking at the date and discerning how things work, you can pretty much figure out uh, if you look at a lot of bottles, what the date code is, and I circled it there because it became quite uh, evident through a little trial and error what the date code was, and I think I figured it out. Redline could call me a liar, but uh, I think I'm pretty much spot on on this. Well, oldest oil award goes to Royal Purple. They win first place having a six-year, six-month-old oil on the shelf at a local retailer. And then Amsoil, yes, Amsoil is second place having their oil sit around on the shelf for over three years and two months. Yes, gotta, gotta love it. And then Valvoline wins the third place award for the oldest oil off the shelf at over two years and seven months old. So, hey, check the product. Make sure you're getting it. And I darn sure check that royal purple out. Holy cow. That stuff is, I don't know, six years, six months. Would you buy an oil that's over six and a half years old? Uh, I'm thinking more you guys know the probably you won't buy it. Force them to change that supply out. Anyway, uh, places I went was Napa, Walmart, O'Reilly, AutoZone, and Blaine's Farm and Fleet where I bought these oils. So, uh, yeah, you guys can pretty much see they're very, very common retailers, and uh, they don't rotate their stock well in some cases. They just let it sit there. And I find it amazing that a store would let an oil sit for six years and six months, not sell it, and, and not replace it with something else that moves faster. Uh, you know, that's just, that's just insane, is, is all I can say. Uh, I've just never seen anything like it. So that is what I've covered on the oils and the shelf lifes and everything else. I hope you've learned something from this and make yourself a smarter shopper when you go out and buy your oils and also what you got sitting in the shelf in the garage, getting heated up, cooled, frozen, and everything else. Try to rotate your stock, keep the best freshest oil in your engine, and of course have a great day. But either way, this is Mac T. Ford Edge, and this is my oil shelf life and code 
bait code video and I want to make sure you all like and subscribe to videos on this YouTube channel. Join up a Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. That's right. Help me grow this chat group up to what it is and I guarantee if you join Mac T Ford Edge you will find that this is the best Facebook group on the internet. Hands down. You will not find anything better. It is a great group. But as all things, Band of One's gonna play some music for you all at the end of this. Uh, what else do I got? Oh yeah! My feet hit the floor today and I'm having a great day and I want you to have a great day too. And Mercy Girl's got a couple one-liners for you and maybe a little bonus footage. Anyway, this is my last video for the end of the year, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Girl production.